Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you my wants to watch predictions. The new cards that are coming to Foot17. If you do not know what the hell I'm on about, it will be in the description uh, detailing exactly what they are because I don't want you to be bored as fuck watching this image slowly get closer to your face. So uh, yeah, let's just get into my 11 card predictions. So the first player we have is fairly obvious, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. A new big name signing for Manchester United in the Premier League. Number two that I've got here is another Man United signing, Paul Pogba. I think these two are all but assured to get them. I mean, it did mention big profile transfers. By the way, the ratings are just there. Um, don't take them for granted. They're just my individual predictions and they don't really matter. Next, we've got a Man City player. The most, or the joint most expensive centre-back in the world, John Stones. Purely because of the money, I think he's going to be in here. And there's not a lot of other centre-backs, and I think there's going to be a little bit of variety. Another Man City signing, uh, he hasn't officially been announced yet, Claudio Bravo from Barcelona. But it does look as though it's 95% sure. And there wasn't really any other goalkeepers, and I think they're going to want to get one in. So that's why I've put him there. Maybe Valdez, but again, they're going to want really high-profile players for these cards, I would imagine. Next, we go over to Chelsea and uh, Batshuayi. I could have picked Kante, of course, but I think they're going to go for Batshuayi because he's a striker, he's young, came from League One, you know, there's a lot of eyes on him, whereas Kante, everyone knows his quality from last year, so ones to watch. Kind of makes sense to pick Batshuayi over Kante, in my opinion. Next, we've got a Liverpool player, their record signing, Sadio Mane, £37 million man, and uh, yeah, definitely one to watch, and I'd be surprised if he doesn't get a card as well. Next player we've got, we move over to the Syria, and it's going to be Higuain, the fourth most expensive transfer of all time. So, of course, he's going to be in this. He's going to get a card. And, uh, yeah, there's not much else to say. I think he's definitely going to be in here. Another new player that we've got that hasn't actually had a FIFA Cup Ultimate Team card anyway before is Renato Sanchez. Big money move for the centre mid. Definitely want to watch Bayern Munich. Did very well for Portugal in the Euros. Interesting to see how he develops. Um... As I say, the description will tell you exactly what these cards do throughout the year because it'll take too long to explain and I want to keep this video relatively short. Next player we've got is Umtiti, another centre-back, the only other one I've got here, I think, uh, for Barcelona. They haven't made too many signings, too many huge profile, but I think a lot of eyes will be on this guy to see what he can do. He had a solid enough, I was going to say solid enough Euros, but he didn't even play, did he? But uh, he had a solid enough year for Leon, and in the preseason, he's looked very decent for Barcelona. Now we switch over to another Spanish giant, Morata. The only player of note, really, that uh, Real Madrid have splashed the cash on this transfer window, obviously getting the buyback close from Juventus for Morata. So I think they're going to try, EA are going to try and get a lot of the big clubs in this, which is why I've picked a lot of the big clubs' players. And um, the last player we've got is. A foot legend, shall we say, uh, Ben Offer, five-star skiller. Everyone's going to be hyped around this, uh, about this guy, but whether he plays a lot for PSG, they've got a lot of competition in the midfield for places, Baratti, uh, Pastore, Matuidi, of course he might leave, but uh, Di Maria on the wings, uh, Lucas, you know, they've got a lot of players. So, depending on, and they've also signed Jesse Rodriguez, as well as a whole host of other midfielders. So, we'll see how much he plays, but he's definitely one to watch. So, that completes the 11. They're all on screen now. Let me know what you think. Is there any differences? Comment down below who you would pick. Of course, there might be 23, but I'm just doing 11 predictions. If there's 23, all these 11 will be in, in my opinion. But if there's only 11, then maybe just a handful of them will. But uh, we'll see what happens with EA when they release them. I'm very hyped, though. It's a good concept. I like the idea. And uh, hopefully I've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.